horseback, we rode it out here actually. I had Will Bundy and Lydia Vaughn come out to do a songwriting retreat and we stayed in a little casita Airbnb uh, right up the road from our place. And uh, I was talking actually about a different idea that I had written horseback. And they heard me say that the idea was horseback. And Lydia was like, you ain't getting that horse back. And the whole hook was like, oh my gosh, that is totally an idea for a song. And, and the song became the title track of the record. And to me, it's my version of a wide open spaces. Like, you know, I'm not gonna stay in one place if I have to, and I'm gonna do things on my own terms. And, and it's gonna take somebody who can embrace the freedom that it takes to be me um, to love me for life. And, and I think, you know, I found that, which is really cool. I'm always gonna be the type that's kind of bucking the system and, and running my own way. I think I've always felt like, you know, I was gonna be the type to kind of chart my own path and, and do my own thing on my own terms. And I've done it in every way. I've never felt held back by anything, whether it's gender or location or time or gosh, anything that can limit ourselves. I've always felt like, you know, even those things that are a limit to most people don't have to be a limit for me. And I think when you live life with no limitations, it opens a world of possibilities. Come on, brother. I don't know if it was a sense that I was different from others. I think it was a sense that even if other people felt like they couldn't do something, I always knew that I could. And maybe that did make me feel different, but it wasn't in the black sheep sense of the word. Um, it was always that I knew that if I set my mind to something, that I was gonna do it no matter what. The feeling of lost for me was, I think, not feeling like I had a place to be myself. I was stuck in Nashville and I'm so grateful for my time in Nashville and, and so grateful that I still have a place there and for every relationship that I've made, but it never felt like home for me. It never felt like a place where I could truly be myself and truly being myself is not in an apartment downtown with a bunch of neon lights and, you know, going to write songs every day for a three hour period and then going to meetings. To me, the songs come from living my life and, and I have to be out here. I have to be able to be around livestock and animals and family and, and all of the things that make what I write about and sing about worth something because everything else without that feels so shallow. And I don't know, I, I just wasn't built for shallow and I need this in order to make what I sing about stand for something. And I couldn't do that where I was. And the second that I got to be back out in it, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. You know, I've got a beer in my hand and I dirt on my fingers and I just spent the day in the saddle and, and around people I love. And, and I could just feel myself getting rooted again and, and being inspired again to write things that, um, that speak to the people I represent. Faith plays a huge role in my life. I read my Bible every day, but I find God out, you know, seeing the sunrise and working next to Ross, and and God speaks to me um, through nature and through wildflowers and horses and the monotony of chores and just all of the things that you find his hand in. And so reading my Bible and, 
and getting to experience my life and, and be out in nature that speaks so much of God and his beautiful way of going about things makes me feel like I've got my feet fanned, planted firmly on the ground and that the waves of, you know, whatever comes, success or not, that I still have something firm to grab a hold of and that there's something bigger than me and bigger than uh, a moment of fame could ever bring to me as well. So that when I ride the highs and lows of my career, I can do it with a lot of grace and knowing that at the end of the day, it's not the be all end all of my life and uh, that there's just so, so, so much more. My favorite thing about being horseback is just the feeling that you get the command of an animal between your legs that you connect with spiritually and mentally and learning how to connect with a horse and being able to see the progress that you make when the thing that you think is the thing that they do and it becomes a rhythm that the two of you get into and it's all you can think about in the moment and you're not really thinking, you're just doing. And there is just the most amazing experience to be had when that connection becomes stronger and when you learn how to communicate with your horse and get a job done. And there's very few things in my life that I get to unplug that much, but still be so much in the moment. She loves everything she's ever left from Horseback the Song. It's this feeling that I've had so many times, you know, like I've, I left home to go to Nashville. I left the ranch to pursue this dream with the goal of coming back to it. I left so many relationships and things and people for things that I knew were the right move for my life and trajectory and, and what I feel so called to. And I don't think that that negates loving something. And my family knows that I love them. My granddad knew I loved him. And it was all with the idea that I'd come back one day and that I'd find my way home. And I think that's just the truth of it. And I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to leave something and, and everybody that is there still knows how important they are to you. There's this saying that's like, well, if I'm giving you my horseback opinion and it's just like my perspective, I guess, on something and, and it's telling somebody that, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but this is the way I see it. And I think every song on this record is accumulation of perspectives, perspectives, people I love, perspectives of, you know, my own that I've lived and, uh, you know, would love for other people to consider for their own lives. And there's, you know, fun songs that don't really mean anything, but still are a perspective of somebody. And I just think it's accumulation of perspectives from all different stages, I guess, of life, but from somebody who grew up and, and gets to live the kind of life I get to live. And yeah, and a, and a lot of it was inspired in the saddle. And so it's, I guess, my horseback opinion in the form of 14 tracks. And I can't wait for y'all to hear it.